Hi everyone, my name is Đức. I'm from the Power System Control and Stability Lab of Sangmyeon University. Today I'm glad to be here and talk about the basket automation. <coughs> so we all know that basket is a very useful software for power system simulation. And with basket, we can easily create the model and run the simulation and visualize the data by the graph of BSCAD. But um, in some case, we have to run the simulation for many times. Imagine that we have to run it for thousand times, then we cannot do it by manual, right? So the solution for it is the BSCAD automation. So today we will see how can we do it with the BSCAD automation library in Python. <coughs> So first of all, we need to install the basket software and Python also. And uh, we need an IDE for the running the Python. In my case, I will use the Visual Studio Code here. Uh, to save your time, I will skip the installation part. And uh, I think it's easy for you to install every software in, in, in this uh, requirement. <clears throat> So for the library we, we uh, use for the basket automation, they have the library called MSI, basket automation library. And this uh, library has uh, a very useful and informative guideline in, in the website of basket. You can refer to it. <clears throat> so to install this library, you can come to the VSC, Visual Studio Code. And uh, in the terminal of BSC, you can type pip install and msi, the name of the library. So just click enter. And it will automatically install the library to your PC. In my case, uh, I already have, so they said that the requirement already is satisfied. <laughs> okay, so today for the Example, I, I will use a very simple basket model here. Yeah. This uh, model has only one source and it's connected to the to a resistor and uh, in here there is a multimeter to measure the voltage and current and power of this circuit. So uh, we will try to operate this model from Python and let's see how can we do it. <sighs> First of all, we have to create the file, the Python file for this purpose. And we need to open the folder. Uh, I will use the same folder with the basket file. It's called basket automation here. Okay. So we just link to this folder and we select okay and in the folder we can create the python file by click new file in here and we put it the name uh, for example, example and dot pi the extension of python <clears throat> okay so now we have the python file and the first step is we have to import the library for it so uh, for the Automation, basket automation, we have to import the MSI library. So we try import MSI.basket. And for taking the data and calculation, I will import the pandas library as PD. And for visualize the result, I will import a plotting library you see mat plotlib this one and dot pi plot <coughs> splt okay and one more library is the uh, os library this library helps us to take the path of the file okay but so we have to let the python know where and what basket file that we wanna control this the basket file is put in this folder and the python file now example.pi is also in this folder so we can 
do this by using the OS library. Just uh, put the by pet equal to OS dot pet dot absolute pet. And we uh, add some small thing to make it link to the file. My name is, you can see the file name of the PSCAD file is PSCAD Automation. So we put PSCAD and Automation. <coughs> So that's the first step, and now we will take a look to the basket script. Because uh, there is a guideline in the website of the basket, but uh, we can refer to it. But uh, there is much easier way that we can do is we can follow the script of basket. So if we open basket, I'm sorry, I will open the empty basket file. Yeah. Without any project loading, we can open an empty basket file like this. Okay, this one. And you can see in the right side of the basket window, we have the script, the tabs named the scripts. If you don't see this script, you can take it from view and pens and check script and the tab will appear in the right side of the of the <coughs> window and inside the script we can create new script by click new and we choose a folder for the best get automation here now uh, i will put the name for it script script okay and just hit enter you can see they they import the library in, in in the script they already import the library and they give a code to call the library of basket and we can hit record and from now on every step that you do in basket will be recorded in this script and you can copy this script easily to the python file and run it in python <laughs> so let's do it First of all, I will open a project. This one. And you can see right after I open a project, the code of opening a project is appear in the script here. And now I will change some parameter in the project tab. For example, I will change the duration of run to 0 0.2 and the time step to 100. First step, 100. And next, I will change the register value. This one, I will change it from 10 to 2. Or. <clears throat> you can see that everything we do is up here in the script file, even if we click run. So we will have the code like this, basket automation dot run and uh, in here you see that they put the variable they create a variable named register and they put an ID to mark this component to this variable so this ID is every component in Pascal have the ID and based on this ID you can point to the component and control this from Python you can see this number and this number this is the id of the resistor okay so now we got everything we did have done in basket in the script in here and we just copy it from here to python okay so i will copy what is this one yeah And 
the next one do here and everything yeah okay like something okay so uh, this is the best path to the best get file but uh, because we already use the uh, os library so i can modify this one because we can modify it to file path and plus file name and plus the uh, extension of best get project you see of bscx and this one let's get automation this is the file name so we can change this to file name okay i mean here the duration time we can change this to 0 0.1 and the time step change this to 50 50 and you can put every any value that you want and we mark the register as a variable right uh, in here, I will run the simulation for five time and uh, change the register value for five time. So I will use the for loop in here for i in range five and the register value will be changed. And every time we run it, okay, this value is two, so I will put it. Uh, let's see you can put the address to here and this address is equal to two times the iteration number i plus one okay so with this code we can run best get for five times but the problem is every time the best get run is uh, stop and the the, the data is here but but if we run again this data will be disappear so we have to store it in somewhere and in pascal we can store it in the output file if we we can choose the output type and output name okay we can see the code of changing the output type and output name is appear in here so you can copy it and bring it to Python. <clears throat> okay. So we can combine two lines of this code into one by just adding this one to here. Let's see. And okay. And every Iteration, I will change the name of the output file to store all the output file. So I will put this to here. Change the output by adding an address to it. This address will be equal to i plus 1. Same with the iteration. Right? Okay. So with this code, we can run best get for 5 times. And Let's see how, how it is done with basket. Just click run. And there's some uh, problem. They said that there's no R. Ah, sorry, I, I miss a dot in here. Okay, dot again. Run again. Okay, you see, basket now is running. It's run. Run. run one more time you see the current is smaller and smaller because we increase the resistor in here okay that's the how basket automation do their job but let's see how can we uh, visualize the data from basket so we know that basket file is we create the our file in here the name is output from one to five and you can check the sequence of data in there in this folder this one by opening the infx file just open it in basket and we can see the sequence of data the first one is current second one is p and the third one is v 
Okay, this file is stored in the folder created by basket named the same name with basket file and they put IF12 in here. So IF12 means uh, the fortune that we use to run basket now. This is Intel fortune. So in here we see the output file. Actually, this output file is not CSV, but luck. Like, uh, fortunately, we can read it by the pandas read CSV command. So for plotting, I will use the plotlib library in here. Pick a one, and then I will use the for loop again. And I put some temporary data equal to pandas dot read csv. Uh, of course, our file is not the csv file, but we can use this code to run uh, to read the our file. Uh, so we have to point to the our file. This is the file path and file name and plus the I have trial and that does and plus the file name of the our file. So the file name of us is output. Uh, put make it string and output and uh, number and middle one dot out. But uh, you see the file name in here, they put uh, 0, 01 because if we have more data, they will have 0, 01, 0, 02, the second of the output file. Okay, so the thread is 5 plus 1. Uh, okay, we need to add something. The delimiter equal to that's S plus. You see. For the alpha and header is none and index is none and skip row is one because the, the first row in the alpha is there's nothing in the first row you see here okay so this pandas command pandas read set we will put we read the our file and put the data into a pandas data frame. And we can take the uh, result from the, this data frame, like this one. Dot dialog one. Uh, why do I know that this number one is current? Because uh, when you see the the INFX file, it is number one is the current. Okay. And then time is the first column, this is number zero, right? So I log and zero. And we plot it. And finally, we saw the result. Okay. So let's run again the code again. You see the Python is running the also automatically running the basket one time, two time. Ah, sorry, it's very fast. It runs five times. <coughs> okay, then and it's visualized the data by the matplot library. This is the current of five time. Uh, simulation that we take from the basket. So that's all for the basket automation. I hope you like this video. Thank you for your listening and see you again.